M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. M0FXB, so here we are with the amazing ICOM ID52, the only radio capable of receiving D-Star dual band simultaneously. So this video is about the GPS menu. So we have a GPS lock up here at the top. Now the little emblem to the right of it is actually the GPS alarm and then we've got the SD card clock and time and battery. Anyway, so let's go into the GPS menu. So just let's just see, let's just see what the quick menu shows. So we go quick menu and we'll go to GPS information and there's your satellite. So I'm going to go back by pushing the CD button. Quick menu, down one more, and then we'll go. There you are. There's our GPS positions. That's all very nice. Now let's go into the main GPS menu. So hit the menu here. Scroll to the GPS. We'll start at the top. And I'll show you what settings we've got. And then at the end of this, I'll show you us appearing on APRS FI. So GPS set. Um, so we go at the top, GPS select is on. GPS option, we've got Golonas. Now satellite information, there you go. Back, back we're using the CD button here. So back, TX mode is DPRS. I've never used NMEA. So let's, let's put, see if we can, it will allow us to type a message in there. So we'll go across, now will it? No, so no, GPS sentence, not sh no. So I'm actually, to be, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what that does. I'll look in the manual. It, it tells you message, but, ah, there it is, edit. So I'm gonna put a message in there and see if that appears on APRS FI. So I'm gonna put icon. A, B, C. Now, it might not even work because I'm not sure if this is the correct way of adding a message, but we're going to put it anyway. Icom, space, and then ID. Fifty-one, fifty-two. If it does, it does. There you go. We're going to hit enter. Okay. Let's make sure it's still there. It is. GPS sentence. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Go back. GPS information. We know that shows the satellites. Position. Memory. Now, I have created a group. Um, so... Not sure if it's actually storing anything. It GPS alarm. I turn that on just to see what it does. Logger, GPS logger only. GPS logger is on. GPS auto TX off at the moment because we're gonna TX um, with the PTT. So we'll go back into the GPS. Okay, are there any more? So back, back. Menu, so there we are, that's your GPS menu, you've seen the satellites. So what we'll do is, we'll turn it to somewhere where there's a quiet channel, open spot three, and we'll just, we're on use, re use reflector. There's someone calling in there. I don't really wanna. Yeah. So there's our GPS. This is what comes through if they're transmitting DPRS. It will come through. AE4 uh, QU. See this station, nothing's coming through, so he's not transmitting DPRS. So when you do the quick menu and you select GPS position, you can, it says here 2 slash 5 here. So you can scroll using the down button for more information see that it's only got five let's go back now let's go see if we can transmit briefly 
win, I guess we lost contact with each other. 53, thank you for a few. See if we still, can. It's a bit busy, I want to transmit, but I, I was transmitting earlier, I'll just show you what that showed up on GPRS, on APRS FI. There you go, well, that's all your settings for GPS, 7.3, all the best. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. 7.3, all the best.